What's up guys? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. Today I wanted to have a discussion with you on a topic that affects all of us. We work with thousands of people per year one-on-one. -on -one. We do one-on-one -on -one consultations and we work one-on-one -on -one with you guys with our My Diet Personalized Program. This means you're working actually with us, with myself, with our dietitians, with our certified trainers. And we have a deeper level of conversation with you and greater insight into your life. During these conversations, we understand the difficulty that you face as a result of your home life, as a result of your social circle. Many of us deal with limiting factors in our lives that are outside of us. And unfortunately, the people we care about most oftentimes are the ones that are holding us back. I use the term crabs in the pot. I discussed this in 2011 in our number one best-selling book, Living Lean. I put a whole chapter in there on crabs in the pot because even at that time, eight years ago, I knew what this issue was. Our athletes deal with it. Our actors deal with it. Our, our leaders of companies deal with it. Our heads of state deal with it. And I say this just to show you that these are powerful people. These are people with means, but they have no different outlook on their relationships than you do. That means they deal with the same exact struggles that you do. The crabs in the pot syndrome means, and if you can visualize, use this metaphor, you have a, you've all, we've all seen a, 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 a pot filled with crabs, lively crabs, and they're all trying to get out. They're trying to climb to the top and they're trying to climb over each other on their way. Now, eventually one of these, these crabs gets to the top and what happens? One, two, three, four of the crabs below them reach up and pull them back down. This one little crab has worked his tail off to get to the top of the pot to climb out and save herself. And everyone below her pulls her back down. This is a metaphor for life. The people around you oftentimes unfortunately, will pull you down. And they don't mean to do it most of the time, although some do. There are toxic people in, their, in our lives that just want to see us fail for whatever reason. That's their own dysfunction. It has no relevance to us. But there are people in your life, it could be your spouse, it could be your parent, it could be your brother, your sister, your daughter, your son, your aunt, your uncle, your cousin, your neighbor, your coworker, your boss, your coach, your teammate, your training partner, your best friend. Some of them, but likely most of them, don't want to see you succeed. And they will say, say things like, yeah, well, you're just meant to be a big girl. There's no way you can do that. Why do you want to change? You're fine just the way you are. Sure, go ahead. You can go ahead. You can have a piece of pizza. You can have a wing. You're never going to be skinny anyway. They'll say little things. They'll do little things. They'll come to the office with a box of donuts and say, here, Dolores, look what I got you, knowing that you're in the middle of a weight loss program. They'll call you up and invite you out for drinks and wings and tacos and burgers, knowing that you're getting ready for a competition. These people will do things consciously or unconsciously. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to say unconsciously because me in my heart, I want to believe that all people are inherently good. And when they do have these little sort of disruptions in sanity, it's accidental. Although science tells us that many times it is intentional. And what is the motivating factor? The motivating factor is your success forces them to realize they have not done what is necessary for them to be successful. So it's not so much that they want bad for you, but by you doing good shows them in real time, the result of their bad habits, of their bad decisions. So if you're a husband and wife, 
one of you decides to lose weight and you lose 10, 15, 20 pounds or more. You're changing your wardrobe. You're getting compliments from friends and maybe members of the opposite sex with no sexual um, overtones. Some individuals don't have the personal self-confidence to see that as a positive thing and they take that as a negative thing and they want to lower your ability to improve and to succeed. And I know this is a big one. I know we all the too often, all the time, we get a, a, a family member that comes to us and they want to lose weight and they have a health issue. They have a, a, a personal crisis and they want to lose weight. They want to feel better. They want to be healthy. This is great. We go through our whole intake form. We learn all about them. We understand what their pitfalls have been, what the challenges have been, what they have going for them. And ultimately they say, yeah, it's going to be really hard. I don't know if my spouse is going to want to eat like this. I say, well, why wouldn't they want to support you? Oh, well, you know, he or she, they like their pizza. They like their tacos. They like their beer or their wine. They like their ice cream. They like their, their fried chicken or whatever it might be. Well, that's their issue. That's not your issue. And it's very challenging at first. And this is, this is the thing. It's challenging at first for you to break that paradigm of believing that the people around you have any influence or impact on your ability. And why I created this video today was so you understand that you have within you all the power you need to be whatever you want. And this isn't some, some hokey metaphysical foo-foo BS. This is real and I've seen it tens of thousands of times. I see it every single day. Proud, empowered, scared, nervous people who take that first step by themselves and they, 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 they take that first leap and they walk into their new life and they see progress and they continue progress and they hear all the chirps of the people around them and they feel all the tugging at their boots from the people around them, yet they persist and they go on. And the power, the grip of those around you become weaker and weaker and weaker until eventually you do pull yourself up over the top of that pot and you do free yourself and you do escape. When that happens, those same people that were your detractors, that were trying to tear you down, they become very interested in what you did because deep down they want to do it too, but they're scared. They're just as scared as you were before you took that first step, before you took that first leap. So what my strong suggestion for you is to do it today, to start today, to change today. And don't tell anyone what they have to do. Heck, don't even tell anyone what you are doing. Let them slowly see through your actions, through your results, that you've made a change. You've had the power of starting without the detractors. Once they catch on, once they realize what you've done, you're too far gone. You've already established your healthy habits that they cannot slow you down from. I know it's hard and I know it's scary and I know sometimes you feel powerless, you feel helpless, but you're not. You have all the power within you to make this change. And unfortunately, it's the people closest to us that are the most hurtful. I understand this completely. I personally understand this. I've gone through this over my life. My family, my friends, our clients, everyone I know has a story. You have a story to share, and I know you have a story to share. If you wanted to share your story with me, send an email to mailbag at thedolcediet.com. Add your name or don't add your name. I might read this on the air in the future to help empower the people around us and those of us listening to this channel and a part of our community. So if you want to leave the name, put the name. If you don't want the name read, don't. If you say, Dolce, don't read this, it's only for you, then I'll read it. And I, I'll, I'll read it and I won't share it. But if you say, feel free to share this, then I will share this. Because guys and gals, this is one of the most important topics, I think, that we talk about. 
It's not about getting shredded or getting stronger or getting yoked and all that stuff. That's all fine and dandy, but that's ancillary to making a positive personal change. And understanding that you're not alone, that it's not just you out there, hopefully will make this decision easier. We'll make that first step easier because it's all of us. We are all, we are all in this together. I like to have this analogy that I'm sitting in a boat all by myself, a little rowboat, like a kayak, and I'm rowing and I'm rowing and I'm rowing and I'm going in a distance and it's lonely and I'm sore and I'm tired and sometimes I can't see behind me where I'm going and I'm scared and I see the storms coming in. But then I look to my left and I look to my right and I see you rowing alongside me. Just as scared, just as tired, but also rowing in the same direction. And the farther I look, the more of you that I see, the more of us that we see, all rowing in the same direction. Equally sore, equally tired, equally nervous, equally rowing into the unknown, but we're doing it together. And that's what I love about this community. That's what I love about you guys being here. If you appreciate this content, guys, just give us a thumbs up. Bang! Bang, bang, bang. That lets the YouTube algorithm know that you're out there and engaged. It lets me know that you're engaged with this content, that you appreciate this content that we're sharing. Please leave a comment below. If you have anything to add, feel free to leave a comment below on this video or send that email to mailbag at thedolcediet.com. I don't often do that or request that. I'm doing that because I know sometimes you have a story to share and just by sharing it helps unload it and getting it off of your chest. And, and lightens your load a little bit. And if I can help you lighten that load and get back to being focused on you, to being strong, to being powerful, to being motivated, that's what I am here for. Until next time, boom.